Islam Makhachev versus Dustin Poirier. This was a sad fight, but what happened in this sad fight? Well, Islam Makhachev's ground game was great. Tried to get a submission early on, but couldn't. But Islam Makhachev had a lot of ground control and took control of round one. At this, Dustin Poirier's takedown defense and grappling was great. Landed some great shots in round two, but Islam Makhachev's wrestling, grappling, and ground game was way too much for Dustin Poirier. And when she completely dominated on the ground and took control of rounds three and four, at this, Islam Makhachev got Dustin Poirier in a Bravo choke and made him tap in round 5 and obviously Islam Makhachev retained his title. Now I'm a bit surprised with how the fight went because we knew that Islam Makhachev was going to want to take the fight to the ground and keep it there since we all knew that Islam Makhachev was going to outperform Dustin Poirier whenever it came to going to the ground but when it came to striking it was a pretty even fight since both men are southpaws both men were trying their best not to make mistakes but I am a little disappointed with Dustin Poirier when it came to striking because he was talking about his boxing skills throughout this whole build up and he was talking about how Islam Makhachev needs to box more but there were multiple times in the fight where he had big opportunities to throw and land something big but he did didn't take those opportunities now props to dustin poirier for putting on a good fight and having very good moments in the fight like escaping out of bad positions and having good moments when it came to fighting on feet as we all seen that he landed some big body shots but i'm wondering could dustin poirier have done a bit better knowing that he is 35 years old and knowing this was his last chance at becoming the lightweight champion because that had to be in the back of his head so why couldn't he just risk it all in the later rounds i'm not saying he should have got reckless all i'm saying is that he should have got a bit more aggressive while at the same time playing it smart to see how islam would have reacted to crazy pressure and to see if that's what he would have needed to win rounds and rounds so in the end islam did end up defending his title like we all expected so it's safe to say that no one has the tools to beat islam they might have the wrestling and they might have the striking but it still won't be good enough to beat islam